Hi, I'm Dr. Kyle Wagner. I'm an assistant professor in the College of Education. I teach in our school psychology doctoral program, and I'm also teaching a little bit in our intervention specialist licensure program. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how I use the library uh, in my academic research, but also in the courses I teach. So uh, in both cases, I'm really looking for peer-reviewed literature. I'm looking for science. I'm looking for what's in the literature base, what's in the evidence base. I'm looking for experiments people have done in the past, what people are planning on doing in the future. And I use that to inform what I do, uh, but I also use it to inform how my students are going to practice in the future. So um, when I'm teaching school psychology students uh, and also intervention specialist students, one thing that I want them to do is in their daily practice, they should be relying on scientifically based best practices. So in every course I teach, I have at least one assignment, usually multiple, where my students have to go to the library website, they have to search for peer-reviewed journal articles, and then they have to use those as evidence for whatever paper they're writing or project they're putting together. And fortunately, uh, we've got a great library system and it's really easy to do. So you, you, know, you go to the Schaefer Library website, you click on advanced search, and there you are. You're in a, a window that, that lets you search by article title, journal name, authors, date ranges. You can select only peer-reviewed articles, only things that are in text online. Um, and you've got access to, to a whole world of information. It's, it's pretty fantastic. Um, again, we have a nice system, so we're, we're linked into a lot of different journals, a lot of different search sites. So pretty much anything you wanna find is gonna be available through our library system or interlibrary loan. Um, it's great for, again, looking at background, deciding how I'm gonna design an experiment or a study, uh, helping my students figure out how they're gonna practice when they get out in the real world. So, um, Hopefully that answers your questions about how, how useful our library can be and how you can use it either teaching, learning, taking classes, teaching classes, or doing some research. Thank you. Hi, my name is Carrie Teeple, and I am an assistant professor in the College of Education. I utilize the library in so many ways, um, whether it's with my undergrad students, master's students, or as I chair candidates in the doctoral program. Um, for my undergrad students, I start the year off with my first year freshman students by um, having one of the wonderful library um, staff come in and discuss all of the opportunities and resources that are available to them in the library system. Then I also give them a scavenger hunt um, in the early in the semester where they will go to the physical spaces and have to complete some quick tasks just designed to help them get a better idea of what is there for them. Uh, my older students in the undergrad program, they are um, treated to an opportunity to visit the Maza Resource Center and as well as the TRC in the Davis building, and those are satellite branches of um, Schaefer, and those house a great collection of children's literature, which they use for their early childhood um, research projects and lesson planning. Uh, my master's students use the library to um, do research, and as the same as the doctoral students, and. Um, I just, we are so fortunate to have the suite of databases that we have in, um, through the library, the EBSCO host and ERIC, so many fantastic scholarly article choices there for them to utilize. Um, and I know when I was working on my um, doctorate, it came in the clinch so many times getting the, um, the articles that I needed and whether they were not available, if they were not available online, the staff at the library would um, search them out in a hard copy form and deliver them to me. So I think our library staff goes above and beyond to make it such a valuable resources, resource for students of all ages at University of Findlay. We in the occupational therapy program um, here at the University of Finley are very thankful for Rebecca Quintus, our college librarian for health professions, pharmacy, and sciences at Schaefer Library. 
Rebecca's expertise is an integral part of our students' learning throughout the program. And it begins in student orientation and then is threaded throughout our research and evidence-based practice courses. I've been collaborating with the Occupational Therapy Program for probably about 10 years and with um, Dr. Lori Prusnick for about five years. And it's this ongoing relationship that has allowed me to learn more about the discipline um, or the profession and also the expectations of the students as they begin their journey um, through the program to become occupational therapy practitioners. Uh, my first contact with the OT students is during their summer orientation um, in which I had the opportunity to um, introduce them to the library, its resources and services. Then um, Rebecca comes in again in our introductory research class um, to this time to help students expand their knowledge um, in searching the scholarly literature um, beyond the basics of what they learned in their undergraduate education. This um, particular course, um, Dr. Presnick and I teach the first lecture together, which is really helpful. Um, she provides the foundation for the research process for her students, and then I follow up with a more detailed discussion on how to um, search the literature to find high quality um, relevant studies in their topic on clinical practice. Um, I will also um, discuss how they can then better manage their citations using um, citation management software. And once this foundational understanding is established, we um, have Rebecca um, as a resource that we encourage our students to continue to use um, throughout the curriculum so that they can um, gain more high quality scholarly articles to use within their assignments and projects throughout our program. Because of my relationship with OT, um, this gives students and another person they can reach out to if they do have um, additional questions about how to better search the literature. Um, it's my interaction then with the students that they themselves become better searchers and can find then the high quality um, materials that they need um, for their ongoing research projects. And through this collaboration, um, we as a department have seen our students be able to write and produce research and evidence-based practice support throughout their assignments at a higher level with more confidence. And then this is able to, for them to be able to portray their passion for the profession, but also as um, the university as a whole. I try to incorporate the library into both my undergraduate and graduate classes as often as possible. Um, for one thing, the library systems change and as processes update, um, I don't need to try to, to worry about being on top of that every single time that changes. So a librarian is really useful for that reason. And the other thing is bringing a librarian to class gives the students another voice to hear from. And I like to explain that the Writing Center offers writing tutors for help with your writing. The library offers librarians as kind of research tutors to help you with your research. So in my undergraduate classes, I generally ask a librarian to come in and give them a tour of the library website, talk about the different functions of a librarian, and then run them through a couple of activities where they get to learn how to access the databases, why peer-reviewed articles are more valuable to them than things that they might find on Google, and even how to do a Boolean search. So those are skills that the students should be able to use throughout the rest of their academic career and even into their professional lives. In my graduate courses, we're oftentimes reinforcing some of those things, but also bringing in ideas uh, about different journals that they might not be aware of or specific research methodologies that might be uh, valuable to them in their graduate study. One activity that I've found really useful, especially for undergraduate students, is to have a librarian come in and guide a kind of scavenger hunt activity where we get the students into the databases doing some research on a specific topic and, uh, ah, there's a better way to do it. One of the issues that my students frequently run into is uh, they'll come to me and say, well, this is the topic I wanted to study, but I couldn't find anything on it. 
And uh, so, so an activity that I like to do to, to get around that is to have a librarian come to class and run a kind of scavenger hunt activity with them to show them that uh, your first entry into the databases may not yield the results you're looking for. So by adjusting filters, by adjusting search parameters, by talking about different kinds of search terms and how they can work together, uh, that allows students to see that there is a significant amount of research that exists that we have access to on just about any topic that you could find. And they often leave the class realizing that, uh, that they, can, they can find whatever they need. I use the library in all of my classes because my classes all involve research, either students investigating things through academic journals or them performing their own research. And while most students don't really think about it in this way, every time that they are looking up an academic journal, they are using the library. Most of the time, if you were off campus, you would have a paywall to that if you weren't a college student. So our library allows them access to really any journal article they could ever want but they may just not feel like they are actually accessing the library at that time, but they truly are, so every one of my classes uses the library. I have in the past definitely involved librarians in my classes. They've come in to help students learn how to not only navigate the library website, but also how to search online for good pieces of information, good trustworthy sites and sources. And they've also allowed them to get in touch with how to check out books, how to use interlibrary loan system, and even how to do things like access study rooms, which my students really love to use. I think if I'm thinking about if I'm thinking about individual time periods in which the library has been really important to students, I think about a couple of different stories. One of them really being that I like to tell my students that there are a couple of Picassos in the library and have them go investigate them and find them. And then they've been to the library at that point and they've actually gone into the library and gone down in the basement and you know tried to see what this source is on their campus that they didn't really know about before. The way that I've generally incorporated librarians and library study into my classes is really just allowing them to do things like access the periodicals, see what the periodicals actually are. If you don't go to the library, a student really has no idea that journal articles are actually a journal that comes in the mail as a periodical. So the fact that they can go down into the sort of the catacombs of the library and find those different uh, moving shelves and access those periodicals. It just allows them to understand a little bit more about how science works and how these periodicals bring information to the world. So they really enjoy doing things like that, sort of a scavenger hunt type of activity.